Good evening guys and welcome back to another video here in Lebanon, baby. We are continuing with the series tonight and we're actually going to be taking you guys to another shawarma spot because you guys like the Restaurant Joseph video so much and we've been getting recommendations and by we, I'm with my good friend Fuad hey, here. Hey, what's up? You good guys? <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. We're all about to be good when we see the shawarma that's going to oh, be eaten. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so actually it's both mine and Fuad's first time eating at the shawarma place. Actually a couple of his friends that uh, are at his personal trainer had recommended we needed to go to the shawarma spot. In their opinion, they said it's better than Mano, which you guys saw in last year's um, Lebanon series, as well as Restaurant Joseph, which you just saw a couple days back. So we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna go in there, try out some shawarmas. Maybe we'll do a little dessert after. We shall see, but y'all, let's head on in there. Oh yeah, let's go for uh, sure. Let's go, you ready, bro? Oh. That's a new nickname, Warma. Warma, Warma time. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Warma, let's get it. So here we are, guys. It's called Tico Tico, right here in Jaladib, right, bro? Zella. Zella? Yeah. Zella, all right. I don't think we've ever been here, I've, or I have never been here, right? Place, next to Teresa's place. Next to Teresa's place. Ah, yeah, that's right. One of our friends. So we're going to go on in here. It looks like this is where the food's being cooked. Marhaba, my friend. Good formas? Perfect. We all order over here? Awesome. Kifak. Hello, Kifak. Mashal Hal? Mashal Hal? Perfect. Chicken Chicken extra tum? Chicken extra tum. Chicken extra tum. Chicken extra tum. Chicken America. America. Chicago. 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 Uh, Chicago. George. George. Mac. Sharifna. Merci. 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 Mabrouk. Mashal Hal, YouTube video. Yo, so what do you think? Two shawarmas, bro? Oh, yeah, extra yeah? tomb. All right, we're getting uh, two shawarmas, extra tomb. We're getting the chicken, the usual, and it's going to be delicious. So here we go. <laughs> the, uh, the best ones you've ever made? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, what, what is giving it? Us a good recommendation. Oh, there we go, there we go. We're gonna get the best of the best. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, medium, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's the what do they do? Do they have any drinks here, bro? Hey, what's I, I believe the drinks at the end. Do you? How much? How do I say that? Are they betrayed? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Chicken noodles, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 180, 160. 160. Oh, what's it? All right. Here we go. Oh yeah, shawarma time. Here we go. You ready, bro? Yeah. That's gonna be delicious. Let's let's watch how this is cooked. Oh yeah. My favorite part is watching the shawarma because they gotta slice up the meat here. So. Let's see if we can get in here. Can you ask me if we can go through? Sorry, I'm going to take a All right. How are we doing, boys? Keep on. That's all. Oh, am I slicing this thing? All right. There we go. How do I do this then? Fly, can you hold this for a quick second, bro? All right. Let's do this. On this side right here? Oh, yeah. It's a little harder. How do I get this thing? Oh. No, 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 no. No? How do I do this, dude? Do it smooth. Ah, smooth. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Smooth, chef, chef Mac. All right, there we go. Oh, there we go. Fresh. And how do how do we spin it? Ah, uh, uh, with the spoon. That's the that's the key. All right, all right. There we go. He was holding out on me. He didn't show me that the spoon's the uh, the trick. <laughs> but look at that fresh meat, guys. It is just falling right down there. As you can see, that is some delicious looking chicken. I, uh, I completely failed right there when I was trying to cut it, but I'll know for the next time when I'm cutting the shawarma, then uh, we'll know exactly how to cut it, grabbing that spoon. But, oh, all right, so now we're, uh, we're loading these things up. We got the extra tum in there. We've got some fries and we have a mean amount of chicken in there. Oh, baby, baby, look at that. Squeezing it together, heating it up, tossing it right in there. And oh, wow, 
That is a good looking shawarma right there. Messi Katir, Kaye, Kelo Joe. Oh, yeah. That is going to be delicious. Oh, oh, oh. That looks good. I'll wait for you, bro. I'll wait for you. Oh, no. All right, Fuad's got his. So we're going to try him right here, bro. You want to take a seat or what? He looks beautiful. Yeah, we're going to try him right here. Let's do it. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do it with the swarm in the background. Here we go, bro. Cheers, All right, cheers, bro. We're gonna try them out. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh my God. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna sit here and say which one's better, but let me just tell you, I just took a bite in that that extra tum mixed in with that chewy chicken. Oh yeah. When you take that bite, you can just taste all of the flavors just melting in your mouth. Mmm. Oh, bro. How do you rate it? That is a damn good shawarma. I think, wow. I think that's a 10. A 10 out of 10? Oh, yeah. Now, are you going to stay on camera which you like better? Mono, Restaurant Joseph, or this? No, that is difficult. Oh, yeah. Shawarma is yeah, exactly. He doesn't want to make any enemies right now. And honestly, guys, neither do I. Because we like all these shops. But um, let me tell you. Oh, I, this is one of those nights. So, Fuad always wants to get like Tauk or another shawarma after we have our first shawarma, this could be one of those nights where I could go for round two. Or maybe we'll save it for ice cream. We'll see. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a surprise for you guys. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you can smell the camera. Look. Yeah, literally. Oh, Just man. imagine, like, what we're smelling right now is garlic, chicken, this, like, nice chewy tortilla on there. It doesn't get any better than this. Let me just tell you that. Mm -mm. Tortilla? Mm. <laughs> what do you call it? Naan? <laughs> Bread. Hmm? That's Lebanese bread. Oh, that is delicious Lebanese bread. Oh, I call it tortilla. Well, you know I haven't been in Lebanon too much lately. <laughs> He's much more Lebanese than I am. I know, right? Oh, sahtan, bro. You guys, the uh, best part of the shawarma is at the very end because then you have like all the melted tomb come down to the bottom. Fouad's always told me this. He's like, wait till you get to the last bite. And we're at like probably two bites left, but at the bottom it's just soaking in all the goodness. Mm -mm. As I say, best, mm. the best for the last. Mm -hmm. Merci, tir tae, tir tae. Merci, tir. See you guys, shufak. Merci, tir, tir tae. So good, thank you so much. See you. Wow, let me just tell you. Oh, quick stop for shawarma, guys. My stomach is so full right now. But honestly, I could eat another one. It was that tasty. I give that a 10 out of 10 for shawarma, guys. That's Tico Tico right there. That is really good. That is no. a old place. Mm -hmm. My mom told me it opened up. Well, your mom time. knew about it. Yeah. It's like one of the OGs here. Oh, uh, so it's been around for like, what, 100 years? Oh, hell no. <laughs> 100 years. Like 50 then. Uh, maybe less, like maybe 20. Like 20, okay. Something so like yeah, that. I mean, that's an OG for a shawarma shop for sure, oh, guys. Yeah. So, wow. Mm -mm -mm. I that, probably got stuff stuck in my teeth. That is still, that is really, the tomb is really good. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. Oh my so God. good, bro. Oh my God. We are, guys, we are like literally in shawarma heaven right now. Oh. Warma, warma heaven. Gets okay. you to, into a different mood. Oh, absolutely. Oh, man. Absolutely. What do you think for ice cream, bro? Oh... Mm, I got a good place. Yeah? Yeah. All right, you, know, you, you know it? A couple of minutes. All right, here we go, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to be cruising over that. I don't know how far away it is or where it is, but it's going to be a surprise, so stay tuned. So, yeah, guys, I realized I didn't mention the price in U.S. dollars. It's about $5.47 on 160,000 Lebanese lira with the 29 point something. Uh, wait, 29.2. 29,200. 29, with a 29,200 rate, roughly, guys. So for two shawarmas, that's about $2.75, roughly, for us to have those. And let me just tell you, it was so delicious. Like one of those is enough, pretty much for a meal. Unless you're really hungry, like we are, then it's time for dessert, so. Oh yeah. But you know what? I feel bad for having a dessert right now because the taste of the shawarma is so freaking good. I know, it's staying oh, in the man. mouth. And oh man. You already know we're gonna be burping up uh, tomb for the next few hours. I don't care. But man. worth it. I don't care. It's worth the sacrifice. Oh yeah, exactly. Man, for all you people who never tried the shawarma, you're so unlucky. You just go uh, try it. Just try go it. and try it. Do Yola, it. try it. No, the, you need most to. Most important thing, do it in Lebanon. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. You won't have a better shawarma, let's put it that way, guys. So oh I'm feeling good. I'm gonna take a quick power nap as I digest the shawarma. Mm -hmm. Guys, so we're going to be stopping by what we call a Nuilne, which is basically like uh, a spot. Hello, Kifar. Uh, Siasbak Nen Mai. Anything else, bro? Uh, just Mai. Uh, Nen Mai. That's 
and uh, alke chewing gum uh, chlorets so this is called Nawilne. Nawilne, yeah, yeah so on the highways of lebanon you feel like grabbing something they're always like small stores like you watch this one yeah yeah right over here yeah on, next to the highway so you stop and there's a guy that assists you like whatever you want there is literally right on the highway guys like you just pull over it's so crazy it's like you know you think about it like a highway in the united states there's no shops that are allowed to be on it but here we have the highway uh so obviously you got to be careful i'm going to mention that yeah. because there's cars cruising by but like yeah you can just pull out and get anything you need we got chips we got drinks you got coffees out there a little bit of everything you might need and uh oh, oh. all right there we got uh, the mice coming through yeah only in lebanon <laughs> yeah how do i say how much again a day with three a day with three a day but a day but 25 25 yalla merci yalla so yeah guys that is how it works you literally just pull over there it was like such a quick stop here i was like oh i want to show everyone on camera because like i don't know there's not that many places i've been where i've seen like nuelnes or like these little uh shops where you can stop on the side of the road and literally it's just so convenient because like you think of some countries you literally have to like pull off and like you know go stop at a rest stop you know get your drinks obviously it's maybe a little bit safer but you know we're not talking about safety right now we're just talking about the uh perks oh <laughs> the perks of lebanon's convenience here and so twenty-five thousand guys which got us a pack of gum two waters that is almost so, one dollar yeah not even a dollar guys for all of that so um the golden rule about lebanon what is practical is legal that's it <laughs> exactly exactly it's all about practicality we think outside the box <laughs> always always <laughs> so yeah guys we're uh cruising now into june and that's where we're going to be taking you for some delicious ice cream mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm just driving slow for the tomb because yeah, exactly. i love it man I'll, oh my god that chore was so good yeah you gotta let that digest bro you know you don't want to jump too quickly into the ice cream flavors or you'll be having ice cream flavored tomb guys you better know that i love food <laughs> oh yeah that's facts bro All right, guys, this is the ice cream shop called Fruza. Fruza. So let's go see if we're gonna have some frozen ice cream. All right, guys, we are arriving to the ice cream shop. And let me tell you this, I am excited. Oh, me too. Oh, do they even have a foosball table out there, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, so we got, we got some, baby yeah, we've got some swings here, too. Oh, yeah. So at Fruza, you can play a little foosball over there you can do some swinging or you can hang out yeah man. let's head on in here bro after you oh, yeah. you're the dj bro yeah, bro. Oh. Bro. yeah yeah how's it going yeah how are you how's the ice cream here yeah it looks delicious it's a new place right yeah yeah is it your first recommendation first time here yeah so the view is so good, you can try it. Oh, so they like roll up the ice cream? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. So many types. So you just like put whatever toppings you want in them? Oh, all right. Saten, bro. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you both. Yeah, of course, of course. Let's do it. All right, guys. So here we go. We just heard from some locals here about what to get. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuad, what's your go to, bro, normally? Oh, man. I would usually order like order like Oreo stuff. Yeah. Maybe Lotus. But Ooh. there's Reese's. Reese's is a different level. Oh, and Kinder. Yeah, what else do we have in here? We've got Hershey. Kinder. Oh, my God. Oh, we've even got a little cereal, oh, Kinder, chocolate. Oh, cookies and cream right there. Yeah. Baby, baby. Wait, oh, what are those? Are those like cookie dough bites over there? I don't know, man. Wow. That looks really good. Brownie. Oh, we're doing a little taste test there. Hey, Kifak. No way. Hey, hey, what's up, brother? How are we doing? How are you? Yeah, very good. And you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Sherbet. Sherbet? Nice to meet you. Sharafna. Adnan. Adnan? Marifta. Sharafna. Yeah, bro, you know what? Yeah, exactly. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Nice to meet you. Sahdan. Yeah, Mexican team. All right. Ooh. So is, is this cookie dough right there? Yes. Oh wow. And this one's like a red velvet cookie. Looks like we've got some pomegranate. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Literally, there's what three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, there's like 27, 27 different toppings, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna literally have to get like probably four or five toppings. 
Actually, it's not just stop it's the mixing of them. Mix them, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, we are through so we do live ice cream, we always start with our base. Yeah, it's yeah. It's made low 554 calories, there's no additives or preservatives. Okay. Oh, so it's the pretty base, healthy then, yeah? Yeah, the base right. is super healthy, we do it well. Oh, Whatever perfect. you add to it, it will blend. Chocolate, fruity mix mm. so, uh, will help you to get your good uh, Oh yeah, hey, looks that, like sounds, an art. that sounds fantastic. And uh, you got some other options here for like candies as well? Yeah. Gummy bears, some chocolates there. Oh yeah. So this is like a little bit more we can put. Oh, oh okay. Oh, gummy bears. You could even put some gum on there if you want, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. Just in case you wanted some. Oh, yeah. oh, that looks fantastic. All right, all right. Alfred, I think... my trainer, I hope you're not watching this video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's going to be putting on a couple pounds after having this. But, oh, man, extra uh, no. workout. Yeah, exactly. Worth it, though. Oh, yeah, it's worth it. All right, you, you go first, bro. I want to see what you're going to order. I oh, need man. some inspiration. Oh, I should. All right, I'll go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yalla, bro. All right. Guys, you have to give some uh, our favorite mix Oh, so we've got... You can also do your own if you oh, want okay. to try. We also have uh, some special uh, taste. Yeah. I, I don't have today anymore uh, the Ashta, the Lebanese Ashta and everything, so it's yeah, all yeah. sold out. We have the um, uh, fruit, uh, yeah. red fruit mix. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like a jam. Like know? a jam, yeah, yeah. We do it, so... Uh, all right. You also can mix, mix it with cheesecake. We do it as cheesecake. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. I think Fouad's sold on this right now, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Very good, man. yeah. You also have the limonita. It's a mix of uh, lemon. It's like in a crushed uh, meringue in it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Meringue. Oh, yeah. And custard style vanilla. So the mix is very good. Wow. You only do it alone. Not mix alone, it. okay. I thought you have all the colors. And all these. Wow, yeah. Thank you so much. That, Look at the Some options. really, really good options. Probably what's uh, calling my name right now is the Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. That's a good one? It's blue cookie dough. Yeah. Oil, topped with crushed oil on top. It's super good. It's one of the best items, but it's sweet. It's sweet, yeah? It's sweet. The I love sweet. sweet. Here, That's what they call art. Yo, let's do that one, please. You guys, anything with cookie dough and Oreos is a must for me. It's like the guilty pleasure for sure. What's your name? Uh, Mac. Mac? Yeah, M A C. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. I've never seen blue cookie dough before. <laughs> we Toss a couple it. Oreos in there. Yeah, it's one of a kind here at Froza. Yeah, no, like I told you, it's art. <laughs> yeah, absolute art. There we go. What'd you guys get? Um, the meringue. I don't know. What the, what the, one. The, the one we told you about. Ah, you got that one. Okay. Sahtan. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Am I on? Am I six here? Nice to meet you, Charafna guys. See you, bye. Oh, here we go. So we're getting this thing cleaned up. We're we're gonna go for the uh, the next round here. Fuad, what did you end up getting, bro? Guess what? Cheesecake. Ah, uh, I could have guessed that. I could have guessed that. Well, here we go. So we got the toppings going on there. There we go. Here we go. Crushing them up. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm actually gonna give a little video on my cell phone too. Look at that. So, right now we have cookie dough, we have Oreos, and we have the base of the ice cream. Just getting chopped up in there. There we go. It mixes it all together. So, it's basically gonna infuse the flavors. Oh, oh, oh. Let's look at that. Going real quick with the spatula there. And it all mixed in. This is making me so hungry right now. That is what they call art. That. You basically paste it on there, and that really just basically blends all of the flavors together. You got the sprinkles in there, and it's turning it into almost like a darker color blue here. Wow. That is, art. That is absolute art. Look at that. So it's turning it into basically like a half a, well, like three, four millimeter thick paste almost. And is this just basically so cold it makes it into ice cream? Now? Look at that. Oh my God. And it just rolls it right off there. That is insane. Look at that roll. And it just turns it into like ready to eat ice cream and food. I have never seen anything like that in my life. So, so enjoyable to watch that. That is so satisfying. Oh, look yeah, at yeah, it. So cheesecake. Satisfying. Oh, we got the cheesecake happening over here. All right, so now we've got the cheesecake going on this side. 
And it looks like they, what's all in the cheesecake bro? Uh, like you said, the fruity, that it's similar to jam, the biscuit cracks, and uh, there's this white uh, white cream, I guess. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. I oh. just made the mix now, so... Uh, oh, that's this your, your is it. Merci, Katia. This beautiful. looks fantastic. Art. Art. I am a happy man here. Art, man. I cannot wait to try that. Yo, we'll set that there, bro. I don't want to film here, so here we go. They added milk. Oh, this is our uh, busa. This is our uh, ice cream. That's like the base of it, yeah. Uh, just, no, it's our ice cream base. Ah, the ice cream base there. That's this the chef's uh, recipe. What I told you about 54 calories, no additives, no preservatives. Ooh. Look at that. Full speed ahead, here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah guys, you can just see that like it's so frozen there that it's like icing up and that's how when you like put it on there it's able to like change from almost like a creamy paste to an actual like um, almost like a solid ice cream texture. Oh man, it's Look beautiful. At that. that is just so satisfying to watch. It's beautiful. As you just see it like pasted down there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So you guys uh, opened up what, a month ago? Or this two branch, months ago? Yeah, this, this branch. Oh, okay. But we've been in here in Lebanon since eight years. Oh, and for eight oh, years, yeah. We were the first ice cream rolls in the Middle East. So. First in the Middle East. Ah, oh, okay. Wow, that's incredible. And is it a Lebanese owner? Yeah. Oh, wow. 100% Lebanese. 100% Lebanese. Yeah, guys, we I'll tell you. Branches in uh, Malmichaye. Oh yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. We yeah, have yeah. in Abisir. We have in uh, Zalfaya. Yeah, yeah. And this one. And we're opening a new one soon. Oh, very nice. So you can find them all over Lebanon at this point. Yeah. I will tell you guys, since I came to Lebanon a year ago, I've always found that the ice cream is so freaking good here. And um, I'm excited to find that out. Hello. Here is the final product of the two of them. Ooh. Look at the finesse. Bro, give this one a smell. You're going to wish you had this one. Smell that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's really good. You can just smell how sweet it is. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you smell it. Yeah, give this one a smell. Mm. Oh, that one smells nice and fruity. It almost reminds me of like a strawberry shortcake You're smell to it. You're welcome. Mm. I know what I eat. Yeah, oh. smart man, smart oh, man. Yeah. Yo, do we pay for them and then we eat outside? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. No way. I'm, no, no, no. I'm not accepting it. No, no, no. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no. I, everyone's always trying to give me stuff for you. Let, let me pay. Let me pay. I'm Jed. No, no, no. What? Come on! You gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. No, we, we gotta pay. No, but I can't take everything for you. No, come on! Come on! You gotta let me. Please enjoy your. What? Where's the tip box? Tip box. Oh, the tip box is over there. All right, deal. All right, thank you guys. See you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you very much. We're about to try it out on the swings. Yeah, yeah. I need the full experience. All right. Here we go, guys. We're going to try out the uh, Froza swings. I mean, look at this. It's like a, a dream here. You get to come and eat ice cream and uh, Just swing on the out. swings. Yeah, let's... Uh, I'm going to try it. What's the best? Oh, yeah. Here we go, bro. You go for it. You got to get on the swing, bro. You need the full experience, right? Oh, man. Oh. Satan, bro. That is really good. That is really good. Oh, yeah. How is it like with an ice cream roll? Oh man. Does that have like a, a much different texture? Bro, I'm speechless. On Jed? Mm. Oof. That is a good sign, bro. So it's like, does the roll make it like any different of a texture when you eat the ice cream or it tastes pretty similar? I think like their ingredients are really like high quality ingredients. Oh yeah. So the, fresh. Yeah. I mean like you can go anywhere and get a cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Ice cream. It can, it can just taste like a normal cheesecake. Mm -hmm. But he told us like every single ingredient, and yeah, it yeah. makes you feel safe when you eat it because he shows he shows you the ingredients, like from raw to yeah. the finished. Cool, to the yeah. finished good. And, and that's what and makes it, it look so good yeah. too. You know, it makes you like comfortable, like comfortable, and you can see like their safety precautions: right. face mask, gloves. Yeah, cap. yeah, it's super clean. Yeah, man, super clean, and it's beautiful. Look, it's yeah, red. it's a really nice place. Yeah, yeah. it's very attractive. You can see it from anywhere. It is really attractive for an ice cream place to have red color. Oh, exactly, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice. It just makes you want to eat. Wow, man. That is amazing. So amazing. All right, guys, we're about to dig in right now. Ho, ho. Let's get a nice hefty scoop there. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my god. Okay, I've never had ice cream like this. Let me try and explain this. So like you guys have probably had cookie dough before, you've had Oreo, and you've had ice cream as toppings, right? But since it's all like basically blended together into one, it almost tastes like an ice creamy cookie dough, if that even makes sense. And it's so sweet, just like he said. But let me just tell you. Mm, that is fantastic. Honestly, guys, so good. The blue cookie dough is a must because it just gives it kind of like a, a festive feel to this type of ice cream. And then you just have your mouth gasm flavors in there. Mm, mm, mm. And one of these is about 100,000 Lebanese lira. So on 29K to one US dollar, it's just over $3 for one of these delicious ice cream rolls right here in June. So I'm gonna tell myself, Satan. Oh, thank you, bro. Satan, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, we got a little visitor here. Meow. Hey, little one. Yalla, I would give you ice cream, but I don't know if you'd like that. That'd be too sweet for you. Oh, I wish I had something to give you, little one. If I had extra shawarma, I'd hook you up. Charafna. Charafna, little one. Meow. Meow. You're a cute little one, aren't you? Oh. I wish I had food for you, little one. I didn't bring any. So, bro, what was your final thoughts of it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Oh, oh yeah. We're both saying 10 out of 10, guys. Very, very delicious. We're, run we're wondering how we get on the roll of fame, though. The problem is that uh, the, the water and uh, the fins are on the uh, uh, Ah, okay, all right. That means we'll have to come back then, next time. Yeah, we'll get to the next time. All right, deal, deal. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so yeah, much, guys. So yeah, really appreciate it. Bye, Thank you, guys. See you. Yalla, guys. A good time. Really good time. Finish off with a game of foosball, bro? Yalla, let's do no, it. No, no, I, I gotta let the stomach uh, let's do it. digest a bit. Well, the definition of a good night in Lebanon is when you have good food. Uh-huh, With exactly. good company. Now you already know, I'm gonna pass out right after this. But yeah guys, really hope you liked coming with us for another evening food vlog tour. As Fuad said, that was a fantastic way to finish off the night with shawarmas, with some delicious ice cream, and he's had neither of the spots. Obviously, I've had neither of the spots, and so both of them, we're giving them a 10 out of 10. Really good. I don't know if we were just super hungry or they were just that good, but no, I'm they were, sure they were, I think they were, were that freaking they were good. good. They yeah, were good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for oh, sure. Honestly, man. No, for sure, guys. They were. Honestly, you should check them out. So, yeah, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos both here in Lebanon as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button because Fuad and I are going to be making videos for the next couple months here in Lebanon. So see you, guys. We will see you in tomorrow's video.